All right, guys, Ignite Soul Flow. Just trying to get this mat to be ideal for you. I think that's fine. I might kick a plant. <laughs> All right, so grab your water, your mat, and your beautiful self, and let's have a nice, yummy morning flow or whatever time of day you're joining on. Soul Flow is similar to Ignite the Class. It's just a little bit more slow, still hard, still challenging. We work a little bit more of flowy vibes in this class. So meet me on your backs and just relax for a moment. Take a couple of breaths in and out. We're still gonna work through the chakras. Still work through the body. Taking a few moments to just breathe and release. Shift forward and back, rolling through the spine. Use your 
or our second chakra rather, coming into our third or yogic path. We're gonna be here for a bit. Let's enjoy high heels, bend the knees, look towards the front, step it up, toes touch. Roll it up, arms reach. Right hand comes down, big stretch over to the right side, feeling your left side body open up, inhale through the nose. Bend the knees, round forward like you're holding a big beach ball. Take it left side. Inhale, arms reach high. Bend the knees, exhale forward, fold, swan dive. Take a little half lift, lengthen. Slowly bend the knees, step your left foot back, right leg. Big circles, right side. Slowly step your right foot through to runner's lunge. From here, shifting forward and back a few times, straightening out and bending the knees, getting into the hammy. Slowly take it over to your left side, wide leg.
thighs this time. Open up the shoulders. When you're ready, step to the front. Utkatasana, we're going to hold. Toes touch. Bend those knees. Arms reach high. Make sure you have this tailbone tucked, right? We're not arching the spine here. Tucking under, drawing the belly in. Get a little bit lower if you can. Arms reach high. Activate those low abs, transverse. Get down one more inch. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Vama, on the side. Arms reach. Right side reaches down. Circle it through. Open up. Arms reach high. Open up. Wings. Exhale down. Halfway length. Step your right foot back. Left leg high. Inhale. Bend and stop. Step it through. Straight out one time. Bend the knee. Turn right. Inhale. Half walk those hands away. Exhale. Release. Slowly draw back, front of your mat, right palm down, left arm high, easy, watch that shoulder, grab your body this time, rotate, step to the front of the mat, toes touch, Utkatasana, second round, inhale, arms, this time, draw those hands behind you, maybe crossing elbows, get nice and low and tuck your tailbone, shoulder blades open, one more inch down, breathe. Engage those glutes, come a little bit lower, draw the core in. Inhale, arms reach high. Palms to heart. Arms reach. Take it left side. Round it through, take it right. Big breath. All the way up. Forward fold. This is our last time, right to left. Inhale. Left foot steps back, right leg high. Runners to straight. Take it left. This time just all the way back to the front of the mat. Easy twist. Inhale. Grab your bind. Utkatasana, front of the mat. Inhale's up. Exhale, sit low. Root to rise. Palms to heart. Let's finish it out strong. Inhale, arms. Take it through. Bend the knees, open up, inhale, exhale, let it go. Halfway, stepping right, lifting left. You know where to go from here. Let your breath guide. Easy twist, front of your mat. Grab your body. Last move, Kapasana, take it through. Sit low, root to rise. Hands to heart, let's flow it out. Vinyasa flow to close this off. Step out, Chaturanga. Cobra, open up the shoulder blades. Child's pose, take a moment, take a break. down for a minute. Let the hips open up. We're coming into our second flow. You can stay in child pose if you need a little bit more time. Or if you're joining me on your second flow, meet me in a down dog. Here, 
warrior two. Straight out the front leg, your hip, left arm down, right arm high. Trikonasana. Make sure you're opening up, gazing beyond your right pinky. If not, you can be up, that's fine, but you really want to try and focus on bringing this heel down and the hip down. Toes face up, hold. Use your core to take you to a wide leg forward fold. Turn those toes in. Inhale to star. Front toes face forward, bend the knee, warrior two. Hold right there. Don't move, keep breathing, keep holding. Vandrasana, two, nice and deep bend. Inner arches lift, shoulders down. Take a little pulse for this round. Hands them in and out. Breathe. Activate those lats. Three, two, hold it down. Reverse triangle, but with legs straight. Windmill the arms, take it through, runners lunge. Back knee comes down, straighten this front leg. Sway those hips side to side. As you come through, you're going to bend. Sorry, you're going to straighten the back knee. Draw your left knee so far into your chest, your hips come up. And reach this leg, go back. Exhale down. Open up. Inhale, option for up dog. Take it back, dog. style. Down dog. Keep breathing. We're going to go right to left on this one. More like left to right. On your next inhale, replace your left palm with your left foot. 
soul flow, but that doesn't mean we don't work. We still feel it for three, two, one. Oh, let it go. Woo! Let's work those glutes a bit, yeah? Yeah. Heels down, hips up, little squeeze. Take it up. Take it up. Breathe. Make sure you're squeezing as you lift up. Big squeeze. Big squeeze. Now we get more strong. Three, two, one. 
made it through. Still not, not hard, right? Not easy. Sixth chakra. Option to come to seated position, that's fine. Whew. Otherwise, take those heels into the ground. Roll the shoulders up and back. If you want to bring your hands into your heart, into your belly, keep the hands by your sides. Into third eye. Right hand over to your left ankle. Inhale, right arm high. Reach down, grab the outside. 
stretching through the body like a morning yawn in your body. Relax the elbows, bend the knees. Lengthen through the spine and just rest. Take a moment to rock your knees side to side. And as you exhale, meet me on either side, closing off the body, relaxing into the fetal position, the most comfortable, most rewarding position after Shavasana. And ever so gently press yourself up. We work through the chakras, we activate them, we awaken them, we align. And through that we connect through the breath and we shift energy through the body. All of that so that we have a moment for ourselves. A moment to breathe through the body and through the chakras. Join me as we close them off. Inhale, arms reach high, take a breath, open up the fingertips. As you exhale, start to glide the energy from the universe back into the self, all the way down, melting, connecting through the somatic being, touching your face, your throat, your heart. Take a breath here. As you exhale, melt love down into your body, into your center, all the way down through the thighs, back into the earth where we are all connected and rooted.
slowly start to roll back up, gathering the energy from each other, from the roots of the earth, back into your body, all the way up into your thighs, into the chest, into the throat. Inhale, reach, high, big breath. Exhale, palms in a heart space. Thank you for allowing me to take you through this practice of Ignite Soul Flow, igniting the inner heat and tapping into our soul. Take it easy, drink water, take care of yourself. Namaste. Thank you guys. Ignite Soul Flow. I hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Maybe.